Hello, my student. Are you fine? I hope that you are fine. And welcome to the first video online for grade 2, unit 8. In this unit, we are going to study or talk about verbs. What we mean by the word verb? Verb is a kind of word that refers to actions. Again, verb is a kind of word that refers to action or to do something. What is the boy doing in this picture? The boy is eating, so he is doing something. So the word eat is a verb. Another picture, drinking. The boy is drinking. So the word drink is a verb. The kind of word is a verb. Eat, drink. Another picture, look. The word look is a verb. Riding a bike. So the word ride is a verb. All these words are verbs. Again, you can see after me, eat, drink, look, write. Another words that are verbs, like the word play. You can see after me, play, walk, walk. Read, read, run, run, write, write, sleep, sleep, jump, jump, go, go. Okay, now the I in G form of the verbs. I in G form of the verbs. What we mean by I in G form of the verbs? We use the I in G form of the verb to talk about something that's happening now. When you want to talk about something happening now or at the time of speaking, so we use the I in G form of the verb. ING form of the verb or ING form of the verb. How we can make this form? We make this form by, add, by adding ING to the verb at the end of the verb. Like when we say the verb EAT, when we add ING, it's become EATING. So EATING, or when I say he is EATING, means he is, he is eating now at the time of speaking. We form ing form by adding ing at the end of the verb. When I say eat plus ing or ing, so it's become eating. And the verb play plus ing, it's become playing. It means he is playing now. Let's see another example for ing form or ing form. When I say the word drink, drinking, so we add ing at the end. Walk, walking, read, reading, do, doing. Again, you can say after me, drink. Drinking, walk, walking, read, reading, do, doing. So we can see that these words are in ing form or ink form. Drinking means he is drinking now. When I see he is drinking or Muhammad is drinking, he is drinking now at the time of speaking. When I say Ali is walking, 
saw he is walking now. Reading. When I say Ahmad is reading, so he is reading now. Doing. When I say Muhammad is doing his homework, it means that he's doing his homework. No, at the time of speaking. Let us see this example. You can read after me or you can see after me. He is reading. Ali is playing. She is walking. They are sleeping. Again, he is reading. Ali is playing. She is walking. They are sleeping. All these verbs tell us that the, this action is happening now at the time of speaking. He is reading now. Ali is playing now. She is walking now. They are sleeping now at the time of speaking. The rule for this, we add ing or ing after the verb. And before the verb, we add am, is, and are. Am, is, and are, plus verb, plus ing. Am comes with the pronoun I. I see I am. So I see I am reading now, or I am playing now. Is comes with the pronoun he, or she, or it, or singular noun. I say, he is reading, he is playing, he is drawing, and she, she is reading, she is sleeping, and it, it is playing. And R come with the pronouns we and they and you. We say we are reading, we are eating, you are eating, or they are eating. We add before the verb and is or and after the verb, we add I N G or in for. How we can make negative form for this? To make negative form, we add the word not after am or is or are. Again, to make the negative form, we add the word not after am, is, are. How this? Let's see some examples. When I say she is eating, mean she is eating. She is eating now, for example. Oh, she is not eating. It means she is not eating now. Another example. They are walking. I can see them. They are walking. When I want to make negative sentence, I say, they are not walking. They are not walking now. I can't see, see them. They are not walking. So this called negative form of the I in the form or for the present progressive. Okay, now look at this picture and say after me, is Muhammad reading? His name is Muhammad. Is Muhammad reading? If he is reading, I say he is. Yes, he is. Here, no, he isn't. So, to make this call question form of ing, we start in question with is or are or am. For singular, we use is. Again, look at this picture. Is Muhammad reading? In this picture, is Muhammad reading? Is he reading? Yes, he is. In this picture, is Muhammad reading? No, he isn't. And for the plural, we use are to make a question. Look at the first picture. Are they playing? Yes or no? In this picture, are they playing? 
Yes, they are. Now look at the second picture. And listen to me. Are they playing? Are they playing? In this picture, are they playing? No, they aren't. Again, look at the first picture. Are they playing? Yes, they are. And here in the second picture, are they playing? No, they aren't. So for plural, we ask using are, and the answer is we say yes, they are. The question starting with are, so at the end of the ending of the sentence, we can find the word are. And here, no, they aren't. For no, we use not. No, they aren't. And now, how we can make WH questions? This question don't need the answer using yes or no only. It needs a full sentence or full answers. Look at the boy and answer my question. What are you doing? The boy. What are you doing? The boy said, I am writing. He don't say yes or no. Again, what are you doing? The boy say, I am writing. The second picture, look at this picture. What is he doing? While well, the boy dying in this picture, he is riding a bike. With best wishes, thank you.